Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taylor Nicole and today I'm gonna to be talking about something pretty exciting. I'm gonna be talking about getting paid on YouTube. I'm not gonna talk so much about how it works, but more about like how much I got paid. I don't know if I'm allowed to share like the specific amounts, but I'm just gonna give you like general amounts just so you know. When I was like trying to figure all this stuff out, I looked all over for information about getting paid on YouTube and People explained like the process a lot, which, sorry, my hair is driving me crazy. People explain the process a lot, which is good because there's a lot of videos out there about that, but people didn't really talk about like how many subscribers they had when they got to that point and how much money they made when they first got their check. Um, I know like big YouTubers and stuff, they make a lot and a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money, obviously, um, but you have to have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views. From my understanding, you really don't make a lot of money off of Google AdSense, which is the company that runs the ads through your videos. That's how you make money on YouTube. More often than not, you make your money in um, sponsors sponsorships with deals with companies and with what am I trying to say uh, like people do like merchandise and stuff like that that's how a lot of people make their money but Google AdSense is kind of a plus because it kind of just makes your time worth it but usually the only reason people are doing YouTube is because they enjoy it so it's just kind of a bonus um, to be able to get paid if you really love what you do on YouTube then it's just fun for you it's like you're cuddling puppies and someone hands you a hundred dollars you're like thank you I didn't even need that because I already enjoyed cuddling the puppies so it's kind of like the I Alma mean, obviously it's a different situation but if you already enjoy YouTube it shouldn't really be the reason you're going into it is for the money because it's definitely not a lot but it just kind of makes the time worth it and it's a little bit motivating to see that money is coming in so it makes you want to keep putting content out there and stuff like that so I'm just gonna be talking about the numbers everything is not super exact because I couldn't really find like the exact numbers but I found about like where I was at which I know all of this is totally dependent on your channel what kind of like content you put out there how often you post blah blah blah, all that stuff but I'm kind of just going to share my story a little bit and how I got to that point it is still kind of crazy to me that I have gotten paid but it's pretty cool like it's an awesome thing that it's that you're able to get paid by putting videos of your life out on the internet and people watch them for some reason I don't know why they care blows my mind but it's cool so I'm gonna keep doing it the whole reason I started YouTube was because a lot of people told me to do it they told me like because I always told stories on my snapchats and they're like you should just start a YouTube and da, da, da. and I was like yeah okay but I didn't really want to do it for myself yet and so I wasn't very consistent and the biggest key to like growing your channel and to like make money is to really be consistent like you have to be uploading frequently and a lot you have to be yourself like the content has to be good to a certain extent but like if you're being fake people can tell and also um, if you're not uploading very much people are gonna get bored they're gonna be uninterested and they're not gonna stick with your channel so that's the key component is to be consistent I had started the channel and was not very consistent because I wasn't really even interested in it in the first place like it was a lot of work and I didn't want to do it for myself people just told me to so I started in like maybe February of 2016 and posted one video then I just kind of forgot about it and then like like a few months later I posted another video and then I would post one like every few months maybe like just super irregular like obviously my channel is not really growing at all and then come probably February of 2017 actually no January January ish of 2017 um, that was when I posted my things baristas hate video which is like my most popular one it has like 37,000 views or something like that and I posted that one just because I, I don't know it was fun to make and I thought it would be funny and it kind of blew up and that's kind of what started to grow my channel I started to get more followers and followers and followers because of that also a lot of hate because of that but that's a whole other story but anyway that's when the channel started growing and like when I started to see those views going up I was like really determined to keep going and I was like wow like I should keep doing this so I started to make videos a little bit more frequently but still it was literally like maybe once a month which is still like not enough but it was better than what I was doing before but my point is I've had a channel for a long time but it doesn't start to grow until you start to get really consistent so I actually remember I kept doing that and I started to get a little more regular like once a month to twice a month maybe like three times a month but like it was just really sporadic and I had no schedule at all and I wasn't posting very regularly and I had a friend message me on um, on Instagram because I had posted that I had like 20,000 views on my barista video and I was like that's crazy like that's so many views I couldn't believe it and she was like are you getting paid yet on YouTube and I was like I don't think I can like I think you have to have like millions of subscribers or whatever that's just what I thought so I was like no I don't even know really how that works and um she told me that it, you needed 10,000 views across your channel and I had like 20,000 on that one video alone 
And I was like, what? And so I don't even know, to be honest, like this is why I'm not really explaining the process because I don't even really know the rules. YouTube is weird because they didn't really, ex they don't really explain it. Like you just kind of have to like learn for yourself and watch other people's videos. I didn't really know like when I was eligible to do that and it never like told me how to do it. I was just trying to figure it out myself. So I ended up like doing some research about it and I figured out how to start monetizing my videos, which is what it's called when you put ads over your videos. And um, that is through Google AdSense. So you have to create an account with Google AdSense and they are the ones who put, um, you put all your basic information there and stuff. And they're the ones that put the ads over your videos. And so I don't know if you need to have a certain amount of views or not, or if it's like everyone can do it now. I'm pretty sure everyone can do it now. So I would just check. I honestly don't even know like which section it's in on your like dashboard and stuff, but there's other videos on that. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is just to tell you the progression of how it grows, I guess, if you stay consistent. So I would say I started to get, I learned how to monetize them and I would see how it would grow. And I, I think I monet started monetizing them in the summer of 2017, like maybe in the end of the summer or middle of the summer or something. And I was getting like 20 cents and then I was getting like 30 cents. And I was really excited about that. And I was like telling my family, my boyfriend about it. And I'm like, I know it's just like a couple cents, but it's really exciting because it's like, I'm already doing this because I enjoy it. I started to do it more because I saw the potential in it, but like I already enjoyed doing it and it was just really exciting to get paid. Like someone just handed me 20 cents for doing something I already enjoyed. So I know it wasn't a lot, but I just was like, there's potential here. Like I should keep doing this. I continued to do it and kept being more regular about it. And I guess in August of, I have everything written down. That's why I'm looking down here. But August of 2017, or actually it was the end of August, so like the beginning of September 2017, I started to get really regular about it, like posting like once a week at least. Now I try to post like two to three times a week, but I was posting like once a week then, just trying to put out a good video once a week. Like that was doable for me because I still had a job, I still have a job now, but I still had a job then, so I was trying to like fit in this whole new hobby into my life schedule and it's kind of a lot of work, but if you enjoy it, it's like you're able to fill it in somewhere. So from September 1st to October 1st, that month around there, um, I had about 530 subscribers maybe, and I had made $32 that month. And the thing, oh, I should explain this to you. So Google AdSense doesn't pay out until you reach a threshold of $100. So you can be building up like your um, threshold for months and months and months until you actually get a check. So it took me about three months to get a check, which is not too bad to be regular and eventually get a check after three months is pretty cool. And I also knew that the ad rates run really high in December because it's Christmas, everyone's buying, it's a big buyer's market and stuff. So ads run more then, so you actually can make more money in December, which you will see. So I really wanted to get the ball rolling before December came because I knew that that was when more of the money would come in. So I started in September, started to be super regular, had about 530 subscribers, like super, super small. So you can be like, I even, I started making money monetizing my videos at like 400 subscribers or whatever. Like you don't have to have a lot and just be more regular. And then from October 1st to November 1st, I had about 760 subscribers, made about $67 that month. These are all just estimates because I don't remember the exact numbers. I'm just trying to guess from the information that I found. And then from November 1st to December 1st, I had about 1,200 subscribers and I made $122 that month. So that was the first time I had passed the threshold. I guess it only it probably took me three months to do that. And you don't actually get the check until the next month. So I got paid in December for November's check, which was $122. And then December, the ad rates are higher and my channel was continuing to grow. And I made like $144 or something like that and had about 1,720 subscribers. And now I'm at 2,220 or 30 or something like that. It just continues to grow, but I will be honest, the ad rates are low again because it's not December. So I'm not gonna make as much money as I made in December. And also I was daily vlogging, well, trying to daily vlog the best I could in December. So the, obviously like the more videos you put out, it's kind of the way someone described it in one of the videos I was watching is like, you're just putting more products out there to make more money on. So like if you have all these videos that have ads on them, it's like you have a store with all these products and like you're just more likely to make more money off of all the products because you have 
so many of them. I don't know if that makes sense, but like it's better than just having like my barista video having ads on it. That's not gonna make me as much money as if I keep producing and putting out videos that have ads on them. They're just gonna continually like make money as people watch them. I made it a point to like do daily vlogging because I knew it would be a challenge and also I knew it would help me get over the threshold. So yeah, that's what I started to do, but it's definitely like you can't be in it for the money, but I just wanted to explain kind of how that process works. A little bit of like how the process works. AdSense will send you, once you re you have to re reach a certain threshold where they will verify your address and make sure you're like a legit person and all that stuff, which is good. And this is what they send you. And it sends you like a little pin inside that you put in on your Google AdSense account. Then they will verify that you have the same address and you're a real person, it's legit. And then that's when you put in your bank information after you pass the $100 threshold, then you can, start to get paid so that's pretty much that i didn't really want to explain too much about the process there's already a ton of videos out there that's how i learned about it i just watched other people's videos like how to get paid on youtube you can look all that up i just wanted to explain my process and how i really saw that like being consistent with your videos is what really grew my channel and what made me money so it's been pretty cool like to be honest, I used, what did I use my money on? I wanted to buy something really cool because I was like, oh, it's the first YouTube paycheck, that's so cool. But I had to pay for something like my phone bill or something stupid, being an adult, ugh. But it's a cool extra little source of income. If it's something that you enjoy, um, it's definitely possible to get paid. And uh, AdSense isn't the only way, that's just a good place to start. That's kind of like the basis. and that'll continue to run itself like without you monitoring it. Off of that, there's like different ways to make money with sponsorships, with companies and stuff but you can't sign up from what I've seen you can't sign up for um, some of those websites until you have like 5,000 subscribers or 10,000 subscribers which I'm not even there yet so I don't know anything about that but yeah I just wanted to be really open with you about that process and how much I made and it's not a lot but it's cool because um yeah, I enjoy it. So thank you for watching. I hope that was a little bit insightful. I hope you have a good day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.